So the Lenovo way to fix is you hit power and we're going to hit the enter button and then I'm going to select F1 to get the BIOS setup settings. Now Lenovo does not have a standardized way to do this so other possible ways to enter BIOS is by tapping on F1 at startup, F2 or holding down the FN key while hitting F1 or F2. Unfortunately Lenovo has not standardized their method of doing this so if you still can't get it to work you may need to google your specific model. Believe me, I'm not happy about it either. So I'm going to use my arrow key. I'm going to stop at date and time, make sure this is set correctly. As you can see, it shows you how to do it on the side. Always good to have these set uh, the way we need. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to go over to start up after this. Uh, incorrectly set bio settings is the number one cause for boot errors. So that's why we're going and checking these. As you can see, I'm going to UEFI using my enter key to make sure it's set on UEFI only. I'm going to go back over to the security tab with my arrow key. I'm going to arrow down, enter to hit secure boot, and make sure it's enabled. This will vary slightly from system to system. Once I'm done, I go to the restart tab and I exit saving changes. Now, as a side note, I just showed you how to set these settings for Windows 10. If you have Windows 8, you'll need UEFI with secure boot enabled. Now, if you have Windows 7, though, you'll need legacy with secure boot disabled. Okay, so next step in the video, we're going to scan your hardware. Uh, now, down below in the, in the description, we have a link for how to build a bootable diagnostic USB through Lenovo.com for free. So you're going to need to create that USB and then come back to this video. And also, if you have a side, uh, as a side note, if you have a ThinkPad, you're going to want to check out our ThinkPad version of this video because you don't need a USB with most versions with most models of ThinkPad because it comes in the software built into the ThinkPad. So you might want to switch videos at this point. If you can't use a bootable USB diagnostic, then skip to minute 440 of this video and we'll explain what to do. Okay, now we're going to go back into BIOS. I'm going to hit enter and then F1. And this is just a reminder of the other way possible ways to enter BIOS. So first I'm going to I'm going to plug in my diagnostic USB that I've created with the video down below. I'm going to hit power and then I'm going to hit enter and then F1 to go into BIOS. There is a chance it will just automatically boot but usually you have to change the setting. So I'm using my arrow keys to go to the security tab and go down to secure boot and then I'm going to hit enter and hit disabled. Then I hit escape and use my arrow keys to go to the startup page. And I go down and I change it from UEFI to legacy. Now when you go to install Windows 10, you're going to need to reverse these back. This is only for using the diagnostic, but for Windows 10, you need it to be set on UEFI with secure boot on. I go to restart page, save and exit, and I hit yes. So the goal going into this is to test your hard drive in here. But as you can see under diagnostics, I don't even have my hard drive listed. So if you run to this, what that means is your hard drive has died so much that your Lenovo doesn't even realize it's installed, which means you can try reseeding it, which means plugging your hard drive, unplugging your hard drive and then plugging it back in and then see if it reads it. If it still doesn't read it, that means you need a new hard drive. We have a link down below on how to go uh, replacing that. Next thing, uh, if you do have your hard drive test listed, go ahead right now and hit enter and test it. If your hard drive fails the diagnostic, you're going to need to replace it. Once again, we have a link down below in the description on how to do that. Now the third scenario we run into, if your hard drive passes, that's actually a good thing. That means that it's a software issue. You're going to need to reinstall the operating system. We have a video down below in the description on how to do that. Also down below in the description uh, for replacement hard drives and solid state drives, we've listed some options. Also, we've listed an option for if you want to upgrade from a hard drive to a solid state drive. The most common replacement options for Lenovo computers. Okay, so the bootable diagnostic did not work for you. In that case, you're going to need to use a process of elimination, which means you're going to need to try to reinstall the operating system. If it still fails, then most likely you need to replace your hard drive because that's the most common cause for this error. 
Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or you're an egghead like us, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and one of our certified repair technicians will get back to you. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.